Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a three digit number and ones. And what we mean by ones are a one digit number. Okay, a three digit number and a one digit number and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. So let's begin with our first example. What is 468 minus 5? 468 minus 5. Now how can we do this? And which is the most effective method of doing this? Well, what I like to do is First of all, let's have a look at the number we're going to be subtracting. That is 5. So that's units, 5 units. And if we have a look at the number we are subtracting from, in this case it is 468, have a look at the units. We've got 8. Now 8 is more than 5. So what we can do here is just do this, 8 minus 5. So what is 8 minus 5? Well, that's a nice easy one. It is 3. So we've done the units. As for the tens and hundreds, well, they do not change. They remain the same. So the answer to the question is 460. The 4 and the 6 don't change, but the units goes from 8 to 3. 463. Now let's have a look at a slightly different question. This time we have 724 minus 8. So 724 minus 8. Now again, we're going to have a look at the units first. We are subtracting 8 units. But let's have a look at the number we are subtracting from, the 724. How many units are there? Well, there are 4 units. Now 4 is less than 8, so we cannot do this. So let's have a look at the tens. We've got 24. So combine them together, we've got 24. So now we can actually do this. We can do 24 minus 8. 24 minus 8. Now, you can do this using mental arithmetic, or alternatively, you can simply use the dot method. In fact, let's do this over here. I'm going to put down 8 dots on the left hand side. In fact, I'll do this above the number 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those are 8 dots and we are subtracting from number 24. Okay, I'm just going to change colors for this. So starting at number 24 over here, Let's count backwards. 23, 22, 21, 20. I hope you're counting with me. The number before 20 is 19, 18, 17, and 16. So that is the tens and the units. 24 minus 8 equals 16. Now how about the hundreds? Well, we do not need to subtract anything. This does not change. So therefore, our answer is 716. 716. 724 minus 8 equals 716. Okay, we're going to look at one more example. 
This one is going to be slightly more tricky. Scroll down to make a bit of space. OK, the third example. This time we've got 902 minus 7. So 902 minus 7. Now this one is a bit more tricky. Now the same process we've used above, let's just have a check to see whether we can use either of those methods. So the number we are subtracting is 7, so that is 7 units. The number we are subtracting from, the 902, has got 2 units. 2 is less than 7, so we cannot do this. Let's have a look at the tens. Well, that's a 0, so we've still only got 2, 2 minus 7. That's not that straightforward. So now we have to look at the hundreds. So we've got 902, and we have to take away 7. So the shortcut methods haven't actually helped. Now the simple way, if you're doing this for the first time, is simply to use the dot method. We are subtracting 7, so I'm going to draw 7 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, I'm using the dot method to show you how to do this. You can use your fingers as well. Okay, and we're going to count backwards. Don't forget we're subtracting. So we're going to count backwards, and we're going to count backwards from the number 902. There are no shortcuts here. 902. So let's count backwards. The number before 902 is 901. Then we have 900. And the number before 900 is 899. Then we have 898. The next one is 897. Then we have 896. And lastly, we've got 895. And that is our answer, 895. So let's write this down. So 902 minus 7 equals 895. There are one or two shortcut methods which we can use, but it is not applicable at this stage. We will learn those at a later stage. So that is how we subtract a three-digit number and a one-digit number once using the horizontal format.